Hey guys, it's Emily. <laughs> This weekend is going to be a little bit different. I am taking Casa, of course, and um, we're in the Junior One Star. I am not taking my own float or car or anything. <laughs> this weekend, I have kindly been allowed to come with my best friend Eva, who is videoing me right now, who is not going to show her face. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm very excited. So, Casa gets to go in their truck, which I am beyond excited for. I don't know how he's going to go hopping out the big ramp. But I've, we've packed all my stuff in it. I will be sleeping in the truck, so I don't actually have to set up a swag this event, which is yay, because I hate setting up swags. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I will show you guys the course walk. Uh, I have my GoPro to film my GoPro video, so it should be a good vlog. But yeah, stay tuned. So the truck is all packed. Here it is. There's Eva. All the times. There's Krista's saddle. Um, yeah, it's jam-packed. But I'm very excited. We're about to put him on soon. Ready to go, Custer? Yeah. Good boy. Custer's just in his fly buster fly sheet, ready to hop on the truck. Excuse that, he for it. What are you looking at? <laughs> So we are about to leave. I'm so excited. I'd just like to say a quick thank you for to Christy and Eva um, and Liv for letting me come with you guys to Harvey and taking me in your truck. It's going to be the most, it has already been the most amazing experience. Um, and it's great for Custer, so thank you. Hey guys, we're having a quick pit stop. Um, we're just waiting for food to arrive, but we've just, um, come into the Shire of Harvey, so we're very close, very close, I'm so excited. So we have arrived safe and soundly, um, did I just say safe and soundly? Yes. <laughs> so we have arrived safe and sound, um, the horses, we've just been busy setting up, we're currently getting rid of all the poo and the sawdust so we can sleep in here. Costa is right there. Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. <laughs> Eating my noodles. <laughs> hey guys, we're having dinner right now. Um, I currently have the legendary two minute noodles. Eva is having her, <laughs> her undercooked. <laughs> Under lopsided cooked <laughs> mac and cheese. Yummy, yummy! <laughs> mm -mm, delicious. The whole. You can't even tell. I need to put. <laughs> Guys, the whole truck is on a slant. <laughs> Wait, we were putting water in um, Eva's mac and cheese, and the. <laughs> And the water almost came out the other side of it. It was like coming up to here on one side because <laughs> it's so lopsided. It, it literally slides. <laughs> other than that, dinner's good. Um, <laughs> for you, maybe. <laughs> but we're plaiting uh, the horses tomorrow because it started raining and it's cold. Um, and we can't really be bothered now. So, thanks for tuning in. See you guys in the morning. Mwah. Good morning, guys. Um, it's currently 6.30. We've just already filled up Cassie's water because Poppy <laughs> chucked it into her yard. Oh my God. <laughs> this is Cassie. His butt's all done. He's all ready to go. I'm going to equisage him in probably like 40 minutes. On the other hand, I'm getting Bachi ready for Eva. Um, yeah. So we're all ready to go. I've got my Spooks jacket on, um, match with my Lumia um, grey show jacket. I've got my um, stock on, wearing my Bear Equestrian Snow White uh, riding tight, um, my Dublin belt, and I've got my De Niro boots on with some, just some average spurs. 
so yeah we're ready to go um i've done my hair up as best as i can i forgot a hairnet thingy actually i might redo it i'm gonna redo it but yeah so almost ready cuss is just having his egg massage now and then we're gonna hop on and he's all plaited up and his forelock is all plaited thank you so much liv for doing that for me dress I chest I'm really pleased with Casta um I'll be thank you to Eva for warming me up warming me up and um getting him going nice and relaxed I'm wearing my Barraquestrian t-shirt with my Barraquestrian tights of course um Casta just has his equissage on right now I've got my breakfast um we're going for a walk <laughs> what am I coming yeah. really yeah um are we, what, what time are we walking the course? I don't know. We'll be walking the course soon, so I'll show you guys. A course walk? Um, I've never been here. Yeah? Oh, visitors! Like I was saying, we're gonna go to the club room, then we're going for a course walk. Never been to Harvey, so it will be my first time seeing it as well as yours, so yay! So Casa is all unplatted. <laughs> Hi, Bachi! Bachi! I'm currently just brushing it out. Oh, he doesn't want me to brush it out. He's eating his food, so he's happy, and I'm disturbing him. But there we are, all brushed out, all happy. I'm gonna quickly pick up his poos and then um, just go chill for the rest of the day. number 17 and it's shared with the two star this is my hip my hip is down here and it's literally <laughs> it's up to my ribs it is massive oh my god I'm really, really excited for it. I'm really happy with the course. Um, it should run nicely. There's a few 
big jump in there by themselves, but Custer has his, you know, jumping pants on, we'll be fine. He's currently filling up his water, and I think he's done. And yeah, we've just fed them, and then we're gonna let them go for a walk, and then we have a rider meeting at 5.30, 5.30, so yeah. Hey guys, so it is the morning. Um, I forgot to say goodnight last night, so good night. Um, I had a really good sleep, and I'm ready for a big day full of jumping. Um, here's Custer. Hey, Cass! <laughs> so Custer's all fed. He's a bit grumpy this morning. He's got his food there. He's got a fresh new bag of hay that's just tied to here, just so, because Barchi has a long neck, he can reach over, and just so it doesn't slide down to Poppy. But, um, yeah, we're excited for a big day, aren't we, Custer? Yes, I am all changed. Um, what do I have on? I've got my Limia shirt on, just um, a Spooks jumper, just some over the top pants. They're not even a brand, they're like a Kmart brand. I'm wearing my Bear Equestrian socks and then my Bear Equestrian competition uh, white tights, which you can't see because, yeah. I'm just having my orange juice this morning, waking up, um, and then I gotta go walk my show jump course soon. Just taking Custer for a walk now. Just stopped to do poo. We might go see if my mum's here because mum's coming to watch my jumping phases. So we'll see if she's here. He's being a very good boy. Hey guys, so. Sorry. Hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> so the ponies have been fed, they've been walked. Eva has done her show jumping round, she went clear. I'm in my De Niro boots, I'm wearing my competition Snow White riding tights from Barry Equestrian. I'm wearing my Spook show jacket, just a uh, stock that I got from her. My Lumiere shirt and my Charles Owen, um, what is it called? It's like an AR, AR8 something. Air is it Air? So, it's Charles Owen helmet. Um, and I'm ready for my show jumping round. I have walked my course. I couldn't film it because I had to concentrate and I only had limited time to walk it. So yes, but um, I'll let you guys know how it goes. Yeah. <laughs> Saved my bum over a couple jumps, but um, yeah, definitely on big time. But he got lots of pats, got an equissage, and now we're just waiting for cross country. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hey guys, editing Emily here. I just wanted to come on and say thank you so much for watching my video. I didn't actually get to film an outro because I was really upset because of how my cross country went. I was super hard on myself and honestly, I'm still kicking myself. I messed up at jump number 5A, causing us to get a refusal. And then that added a little bit of time to our score. Yeah, so unfortunately we got knocked from first to third. So I'm very happy with um, how we ended up placing over the weekend. It's a shame that we lost our first place because um, first place actually got 25% off a Christian in the Park entry fees for the diamond class, which is my ultimate dream and what I want to do this at the end of the year. And the entries are $500, which I'm gonna seriously struggle to afford. So that's that's why I was like actually quite upset for leaving my placing just because that would have really, really helped me financially to be able to afford to enter the event. But I'll find my own way, just keep working hard. That's my own problem. I'm the reason that who stuffed up and we have to go back to basics and that's life, that's eventing. You can never get it perfect. There's always gonna be something in it, one of the phases or all of the phases that isn't great. Um, so I've left out all the bad snippets of how it went on course because they aren't, they're not something I wanna show. But I was really, really upset after cross country and I didn't feel like filming. You live and learn and I certainly have learned from this event and taken a lot of things back and now I'm um, incorporating them into my training with him. It wasn't so much the bit that wasn't working, it was just our basics and that he has um, no respect for me anymore. So I was thinking about retiring multiple times during the round, but he would jump six in a row perfectly and then the next three he would be really nasty over and then the next six he would be fine. Like it's really, really inconsistent and this is why I was so confused. And I was like, what have I done wrong? And I was really, really hard on myself. Overall, I'm really, really happy with him and there wasn't a single double clear round in the junior one start. So everyone had problems on the course. It was a very tough course. There was just, it was, the change of terrain was just constant. There was just bushes, trees, hills, downhills through valleys, over bridges. It was really, really inconsistent on the course. So it definitely was a tough course and um, well done to everyone in the senior one star who went double clear. I don't think there were many people either. No, I'm very proud of Custa. I, I am very, very proud of him and the way that he handled it. And I do need to stop kicking myself that that is something that I do very regularly and I always push myself to be better. But I think um, I've just needed to take a step back and say, stop putting so much pressure on myself and more focusing on on him and how far he's come in so little time and to get around a course that tough is not an easy thing to do. That's where I'm at right now. Um, so it was an awesome weekend. I learned so much and I really want to thank um, Christy, Eva and Liv for really opening my eyes up to how far this horse has come and to what I need to work on and to what we need to focus on and not to not be so hard on myself and not be a perf perfectionist because that's something I'm really good at doing and something I really need to stop doing because we're all human, we all make mistakes and that's life. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like and comment down below. Turn on those post notifications for my next post because it's an exciting one. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you on my next one. See ya.